imports 2021 and why it's hurting us. You all need to pay attention to this one because some of these information might just blow your mind. You may not even realize where some of this stuff comes from. A lot of people don't pay attention. They see something, they like it, they buy it. They don't know where it came from, who made it, or anything else. And that is why we're in the situation that we are in, in this global supply chain whole issue. Now, the government has a golden opportunity at this point in time. You know, they want to pump out trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars to help people out. You know, a lot of it's probably just wasted pork, but you know how it is. It's the government. But they have a golden opportunity to bring back the manufacturing jobs to make the goods that we need in this country to survive on a daily basis so we don't have to depend on all these other countries. And I'm not just talking about China here. We import just about a lot of stuff. 49.9% of everything that's sold in this country is imported. Think about that. Now, based on the numbers from 2020, uh, the numbers for 2021 isn't out yet because the year isn't over. But based on the numbers of 2020, mind you, during the pandemic, the U.S. imported $233 trillion worth of goods. We only exported $143 trillion in goods. Does anybody see a problem here? We're having to bring more stuff in from all these other countries, which now is what setting in ships off the coast stuck in ports stuck in customs whatever it may be it's a whole global supply chain breakdown is it going to get better well let's hope so but i don't see that happening in the foreseen future of what is taking place a lot of the different goods and things are just Things that we still could make here, but we just don't do it anymore. Here, let's just talk about something real quick. I'm going to show you some products. I'm going to start with a shirt on my back. This is a Ron John shirt. Now, for all of you who don't know, I live in Florida. I live uh, pretty right close to Cocoa Beach. And I go and I buy these shirts at Ron John's. These shirts aren't made here in America. They're not made by Ron John's here. They're all imported. They all come from all different countries. I went through my shirts before I did this video just to see, you know, a lot of different shirts. And quite a few of them come from, well, quite a few different countries. It's amazing. Can't even make a Ron John shirt here in America? Go figure. Let's just talk about a few goods. Soft soap. Take, for instance, a lot of people like soft soap, okay? You maybe use it in the bathroom or whatever else. This is imported. Colgate. Colgate toothpaste. This is imported. Now, canned goods. Here's the problem with the canned goods. Most of all the tin that these companies use, whatever companies they may be, isn't made in this country anymore. We don't make our own tin for our own cans. Why is that? If you recycle, what are they doing with it? Well, come to find out, a lot of stuff that's recycled here in this country actually gets loaded and shipped back to other countries to be reprocessed and then sold back to us again figure that one out but here's the problem with the whole supply chain shortage of the canned goods and things that are in the stores and the reason being is there's a shortage of 10 cans in all different shapes and sizes and everything else most of all the tin cans come from china no tin cans no product they may have the product made but they have nothing to put it in. Go figure, folks. 
some of this stuff is just crazy. All right. A lot of your first aid kits that you buy. All right. When you open these bad boys up. All right. Now, I went through three different types of first aid kits that I have in my house. They all come from the same place. All the products that are packaged in here are all from China. You mean to tell me we can't build a first aid kit here in America? The supplies and everything else, if you look on the band-aids, they say made in China. If you look on the gauze packs that come in here, made in China. If you look at the wipes and stuff, the, the, the antibiotic wipes and all this, made in China. All this stuff is made in China. The whole first aid kit, right down to the pouch, is made in China. I thought we were the greatest country in the world. Can we make a first aid kit? Guess not. All right. <clears throat> Your Bofang radio. All right. Now, they trump that they are made here in America. Here's the trick, folks. If you go in and do your research, okay, they do have different manufacturing plants that do make these. All right? But the makers and the owners of this company are from China. All the goods to make this are shipped over here, and then they build them here so they can say that they're built in the USA. But when, in fact, all the product is all coming from the Chinese because it's owned by a Chinese company. They just so happen to have plants here. Now you find that, that there's a lot of that that's going on. Now, let's just get right down to something else here. This is a folding bandsaw, okay? This will fold up. It's a regular bandsaw. Will fit in your backpack and everything else. Or if you have a mole pack, it'll attach right out to the outside. It's perfect. It's a great piece of equipment. I've never had any problems with it. I've used it several times. I would love it. It's imported. Go figure. Now, how many years ago did Coleman sell out? And now, instead of being made in America, which was an American-based company for so many years and made such great supplies for camping and emergency situations and everything else from their camping stoves, their lanterns, and all their different goods, sleeping bags and all that kind of stuff was all made here in America. Nowadays, it's all made in China. A couple more. My rock piles. Now, this is the 300 watt battery bank you guys see me do videos and stuff on this you know i mean it's a great piece of equipment don't get me wrong i like it it works good it does what i need there you go but once again it's not made in this country it's imported now last on this list here folks is just a little something so you think about when you go into the store you go into the store and everything else and it's Christmas time and you want to get your mom a card for Christmas well even your Christmas cards are made by Hallmark but made in China so what is the problem with this country folks I'll tell you what the problem is everything is made everywhere else except for here and you want to know why we have all these supply chain shortages and everything else that is going on? Things that are stuck in customs throughout the country, from Canada to Mexico. The ports are all jammed up. Stuff can't get here. Stuff can't get unloaded. There's a shortage of things. Why? Because we just don't make anything in America anymore. It's a very sad thing, but it's something to think about. So if you ever are out and about and you can go into, say, your small businesses or people that, you know, people that make things, at least then you know it's made in America. 
You go in, a lot of little small businesses sometimes, well, yeah, they'll sell some stuff that's made in another country. There are small businesses, though, depending on what you're looking for, that make their own products. And they're made right here in America. So I urge everybody to try to do your best, which it's almost literally impossible. Even me shooting this video right now, and I'm using my Samsung phone, it's made and imported. All your phones are imported. All your electronics are imported. All the lights and stuff that I use to do my videos are imported. It's basically impossible to find anything electronic that's actually made in this country. So the moral of the story is, maybe we should try to nick away at that $233 trillion that we import into this country. And let's get the $233 trillion on the export side and maybe only import $143 trillion. That would be a move in the right direction. But I guess that's something the government has to take care of. We can try our best to find local goods. But it's very difficult when you're looking for certain items. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me for this video today. Hope it brings a little awareness piece to everybody. Just what's going on with that supply chain issue. Because it just keeps getting worse. And until we can do it here and make it here, it ain't going to get better. They got us by the cojones, if you know what I'm saying. Everybody stay prepping, stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thank mm -hmm. you.